Hi everyone, this is Sam from BodaWork.com and today we are looking at the Samsung Gear Fit 2. This is a activity tracker, a wristband, or with notification capabilities. This is a device that does come with its own proprietary charging um, dock, so you can see the connector in the back, as well as a uh, heart rate monitor. You have a back button and a home and settings button on the bottom. It serves two um, purposes. Um, the last button there, you can see, double pressing it takes you to the settings, and a single press will take you to the home settings on there. The device comes with a touch screen, and you can swipe left or right um, on the touch screen or up and down on the top screen to activate certain options. The band is a plastic material that's actually pretty comfortable and very uh, malleable. You can actually detach the band by pulling that tab and sliding the, um, the straps off. To secure the band, you just basically put one strap, one end of the strap over the loop, find, you know, the perfect fit and then just click it in there and that's it. That's as simple as it is to actually secure the fits to on your hand. Now, let's go ahead and look at the device itself. You can slide through these screens on the device. You can uh, see basically, um, it's gonna be your quick references here, I'll call these, because you can also add other screens here to quickly reference, you know, things like, um, you know, how much, uh, workouts you've done together with someone else, how, many, how much coffee you drank, how much water you drank, but all of these are also accessible from the settings menu, right? So I'll push that button again on the top to go back and you just slide through some of the screens. Now let's press the bottom button, it takes us home, like you can see, I press it again and that takes us to the settings. Now the settings here has, you know, settings for your music player and um, display, vibrations, settings for your connectivity and things of that nature. So we'll go into uh, some of these settings here and um, show you exactly, you know, what you can customize from the settings pane on uh, this device. So if I go into display, you can change the watch faces. Comes with quite a decent option for watch faces right off the bat. So we'll slide more. You can uh, get more from the um, from the accompanying app on your device, but you can already have about a pretty decent number here. And we're going to use you know that particular screen. You can see it was a very fast um, you know update to the watch face. So this is a pretty fast device. You don't get any sluggish kind of performance from this. Now we'll go back to the settings and this time let's try to look at some exercise um, settings here. Um, we want to basically look at how we set up, um, let's say a run, if you want to exercise or by running. You basically have to pick the activity type and it has quite a few um, options for activity ties for a workout session. You have running, walking, hiking, um, you can even do ellipticals, you can do your treadmills on here, you can, you can actually measure quite a few things. Um, so even yoga is also an option as well. Now you can choose that, we've chosen running. Now you choose the target. Right, you can either target this by, you know, choosing the pace, the duration, the distance, the amount of calories, or just, you know, hey, I'm having a basic workout. So, what this does is it basically says this is the amount, the interval I want to work out for. Now, we go back and you can see we can turn location on and off, and we can get guided interval intervals. Right, what this means is I can say for every mile you know, give me a vibration on my wrist, give me a notification that I've hit the mile. Or every 10 minutes, let me know it's been 10 minutes. So if you only have an hour to work out and you have to, you know, pay attention, you can say, okay, give me a notification after an hour and that's it. We go back, we press start, and it gives us a countdown and we start, all right? We start the workout. Now, to end the workout, you press the back button, which is at the top, and then you hit finish on the screen. So it's very intuitive. This is a very easy to use device. Um, we're not, this is basically me just taking it out of the box and just, you know, flipping through it and getting quite just easily acquainted with it. Now, what you want to do is you want to also use the gear app, which is the accompanying app on your device. Now, what that does, what the gear app will do is it really does help in the setting, the setup of this particular device. It helps you download new applications for your Gear Fit 2. It helps you, um, you know, also monitor your workout. So as you can see here, we're in the store. You can see you can get new um, watch faces. You can get new, um, I guess, themes. Now, 
we go in there, we can have the Find My Device uh, feature on there. You can also um, send music to your device. Yes, this device does have onboard storage that allows you to store music on there and connect a Bluetooth headset device so you can actually listen to your music, not from your phone or your MP3 device, but rather from the band itself. That's a pretty cool feature. Now, um, you have different settings for notifications. You can change the watch faces from the app as well as you um, as you can from the um, from the device itself. Now, this is how you monitor your um, your workouts by going to the S Health app. Um, you go into the S Health. Uh, a health app and you can see the gear fit 2 is be is recognized it's uh, connected um, you can basically start workouts from this app or you can go into one of these um, tiles so let's go in the running tile oh that just changed to four seconds I guess it just recognized that we did that quick workout on the device for four seconds now we go into that particular uh, setting for running or that particular activity running and we can say hey let's track this over the last few weeks right now it goes okay september 25th to october 1st there were six sessions that we had and this comprised 5.86 miles right so within the span of a week we did about 5.86 miles and this is the breakdown um, for each day for how far we went and how long it took us to go each mile so you can see it there um, we can also do this over certain months as well because the option is there or we can do it over days now swiping to the left you can track yourself basically you know exactly where you are at the time that you did whatever workout um, it's a GPS functionality which you can turn on and off like we showed you on the device itself now over here here uh, we can measure there's certain matrices that you can measure using the device itself you can actually measure your heart rate over a workout over several workouts you can find out what is your average exercise um, heart rate um, and what's basically uh, heart rate zone you are so you can know if you are burning calories or if you're just you know having um, you know a, a light workout or whatnot so there are a lot of measurements that you can um, actually you know, you, you can actually track on the Gear app. So it's a companion app to your device. Now, all in all, this device, uh, basically the device to fit to, and the, the Gear app working together really gives you a robust kind of, um, you know, application for fitness. You have to, you, you know, it's easy to use, it's light, um, you have lots of features that you can access on the device itself and also on the Gear um, app, on the S Health app as well. Samsung has done a great job of providing this at a price point that, you know, isn't prohibitive to people. I think about $129 if you want to buy this outright or if you buy a new Galaxy S device or a phone, a lot of times you might get this for free. So it's really, really like an easy device to recommend. Once again, this is Sam for BoardAtWork.com and this is the, um, the Gear Fit 2. And as always, enjoy your entertainment.